God knowing the future doesn't make him the doer of the future, of the maker of that future. Mm. He has a way. He says, I've given you a way of escape. Wow. 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 I want to start by saying prophecy is not to try and predict a thing. Mm. Prophecy is God's past mm. Mm. happening to us mm. in the future. God's wow. past. <laughs> that means it's revealing the past. Wow. Because wow. to God it has already happened. Mm. Mm. Now the other thing that normally happens and that, that really gets me to look at people differently is this, where, mm. where you say something like, it's going to be like this. Mm. And people go like, yeah, it was obvious. Mm. Mm. Prophecy was never meant as a thing to shock you or to, mm. to say, yeah, no one knew about it. Mm. No, mm. it's only an issue that people who are actually critics mm. will zero in on and say, mm. yeah, Manchester was going to win anyway. It wasn't. Mm. It's football. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's spherical. It can go in any direction. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. Now, if you thought it was going to win, no problem. Thank God for you. Maybe you've got a heart that can also predict the future. <laughs> but it is the past according to me. Mm -hmm. mm. Prophecy is simply God who speaks a word. Mm. If God speaks a word, it becomes prophecy. That's it. Mm. When God said, let there be, mm. Mm. he had already prophesied that there would be. Mm. Mm. It was prophecy. It was prophecy. It was a prophecy. Mm. So we serve a God of prophecy. Yes, sir. Mm. As a matter of fact, every gift mm. came from prophecy. Oh, wow. Oh. Every because gift. it was revealed by prophecy yes, that he, oh, when he went down to hell, mm. he defeated the enemy, and when he rose, mm. he gave gifts to men. Yes, sir. Mm. How do you know this? <laughs> you were not there. Mm. So how do you get to know this? Mm. By prophecy. Yes, sir. By prophecy. When we read the book of, uh, when, when we understand during the Exodus, mm. we realize that Moses had a problem mm. with the children mm. of, rather, of Egypt. And there was a problem there mm. that they were, there was a competition. There were two magicians mm -hmm. who competed with him. Yes, sir. When Paul comes in, the whole Bible is silent on the names. Mm. But when Paul comes in, he says, as Janus and Jambres mm. confronted Moses. Mm. How did he know the name? Oh. Prophecy. 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 <laughs> That's 2 Timothy 3 8. That's prophecy. Yes, sir. Now, the Bible says, They behold an Israelite in whom there is no guile. That's Jesus mm. pinpointing the location. Yes, sir. Mm. Wow. Of where the man was. <laughs> yes, sir. Who he was, his character. Mm. Then he says, How does he know? Mm. And he says, I saw you when you were under a tree before your brother called you. Mm. Now he's locating locations now. Yes, sir. So when we come and say, uh, can I prophesy and then point that you leave it number five, it's a problem for some people. Mm. What kind of prophecy is this? Mm. So Jesus was wrong when he located the tree the man was under, mm. including the type of the tree. Mm. To the extent that the disciple was shocked. Mm. Mm. Wow. Said Nathaniel said unto him, when Knowest thou me? Mm. Where did you know about me? Jesus answered and said, Before that Philip called thee, mm. when you were under a fig tree, I saw you. Mm. Ha! Mm. Exact location. Mm. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Yes. Oh, was he? So, so it meant to say, uh, it, meant to, it meant to say, Jesus was saying, I, I saw you physically when you were under a tree. And the man says, What? You saw me physically? Ah, you are a son of God. Mm. What shocked him was it was predictive. Mm. It, was, mm. it was prophecy. Yes, he sir. was revealing yes. hidden things, mm -hmm. things that he could not have known physically. Yes, sir. Mm. So you were under a tree. Mm. Mm. I believe a critic would have said, yeah, I think he saw, he saw you before this time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you say, God has shown me that there is going to be an earthquake in Asia, mm. Nah, it's not impressive as a prophecy. Mm. Because we don't know which part of Asia, number one. Number two, mm -hmm. we don't know the use of me knowing that there is an earthquake in Asia when I don't live there. Which Asia? Mm. Mm. The essence of it. Mm. We don't know the essence of it, but maybe God is revealing uh -huh. that so that people begin to pray for Asia yes, and sir. avert the, the danger that was coming. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. 
But someone will say, oh, you say it in Asia. I, I'm just giving as an example. You know me, I, I pinpoint. <laughs> now, but I'm saying for those who do that, there is nothing wrong. It doesn't mean say they are not prophets. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It just means that God showed them for a certain reason, maybe for prayer. Mm -hmm. So don't say, oh, it's so obvious that Asia will have an earthquake. Mm -hmm. Obvious. Mm -hmm. Might be obvious to you. We have a guy here, uh, one of my sons, who, who was predicting stuff after research. And that year he predicted what? Over 300 things? Yeah, more than 300. More than 300 skis to something prophecy. Mm -hmm. One per every, every day. day. And some oh, extras. Yeah. Not one happened. <laughs> <laughs> No, he gives the testimony himself. Yeah. Not one happened. Yeah, very true. Very true. Yeah, geography stuff. Geography stuff, you know, earthquakes and mudslides yeah. and stuff. Nothing happened. Yeah. Nothing. Even the locations where they normally happen, nothing happened. Volcanoes, <laughs> fire. Even volcanoes and fire. Airplanes. Aeroplanes and stuff. Nothing happened. Droughts. <laughs> Blessed be God. <laughs> so I repeat, when you hear of prophecy, you are hearing of God's past. Revealed by men that were never in the past. Mm. So when these things are revealed, you think they are a future mm. that you are seeing. No, it might be future to you, mm. but God has never slept, so he doesn't have a yesterday. Mm. Who will never sleep, so he doesn't have a tomorrow. He lives in one eternal now. Whoa. Then he created the world and finished it and put it there. That's why he's called the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Yeah. The one who started the end before he started the beginning mm. and started the beginning before he started the end and understood everything and left it there and lives outside of it. Mm. So everything on earth has already happened according to him. Mm. And let me say this to many people. His ability to know the future mm. doesn't make him guilty of predestination. Let me explain. Mm. Mm. So many people will say, but if... Uh, if God already knew that Judas was going to, uh, you know, uh, betray him, betray him. Mm. Well, so he created Judas to just betray him. Mm. Now, just because he knows who is going to betray him, he doesn't say he made him to betray him. Mm. Mm. Oh. Just because God can come here and say, this one is a thief, this one is a robber, this one will betray you, it doesn't mean say he's making the people betray. Mm. Mm. No. It just means he knows the future. I want you to realize something. That the emergence of false apostles, mm. false teachers, false pastors, false prophets, false evangelists mm. is literally a punishment by God. They were sent by God himself. God. Oh. False teachers, false prophets, all of them were sent by God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As punishment to false believers. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> because it does not make sense mm. how people believe somebody they know is fake. But they still believe. You see, there's a big difference that people make mistakes here and there. <laughs> but when you know this man is not a teacher. And you believe. Mm. This man is not an apostle. Wow. This man is not an evangelist. Mm. And you follow. And you follow. <laughs> Whoa. That means there is a level of delusion mm. that is settled in. Mm. Oh my God. Whoa. Now we want to know who sent this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now you know that what will withhold it that he might be revealed in this time. Let's go to four so that they know what it is. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God and that is worshipped so that he as God seated in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. Mm-hmm. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Mm -hmm. That there is somebody who is there, mm -hmm. who is influencing the culture, influencing the way we do things, influencing the way they do church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now you know what we hold death that he might not come. He is saying us as the church, mm -hmm. we are stopping the Antichrist and his calls from coming in. Oh. So his calls are here, mm -hmm. but he himself can't come, mm. the men of lawlessness. Mm. He can't come. He can't. He can't because we are here as yes. the church. Wow. We're stopping him. Mm. For the mystery of iniquity, notice the mysterion, the es this is esoteric mm. wisdom for you to get this. The mystery, mm. the mysterion of iniquity mm. doth already wake. Only he who now letteth will let. 
until he be taken out of the way, until we are taken out of the way, wow. he will not come. Mm -hmm. Now here, verse number eight. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Hear me. Mm -hmm. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Notice what the scriptures say, that I've told you that the Antichrist has come, but now the mm -hmm. spirit of Antichrist is already in the children of disobedience. Whoa. Meaning to say this, mm -hmm. Antichrist has already come here in the form of his spirit. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Which is already in the sinners. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Now hear this. Verse number nine. Even him mm -hmm. who's coming, Mm. is after the waking of Saturn mm. with all power, signs, and lying wonders. So he's talking about there are people who are coming. We have the spirit of this Antichrist. Mm. But as for the Antichrist, we withhold him. Mm -hmm. mm. Hear me. Are you getting this? Yes, mm. sir. We are getting now it says, yeah. and with all deceivableness, mm. <laughs> all deceivableness of unrighteousness, mm. in mm. them, not in him, in them, in them that perish, in them. That means there are some that have believed a lie. Mm. Mm. Because they received not the love of the truth. Notice, not that they have received not Christ. Mm. The love of the truth. Mm. Mm. They are not interested in the truth. They might call themselves Christians, mm. but they are not in the truth. Mm. The truth, they resist the truth. That they might be saved. Watch mm. this. And for this cause, God shall what? Or send them. Send them. Mm. <laughs> Strong delusions. Mm. Person of yellow oh. Angra mm. So who is sending false prophets, false pastors, false apostles? God. God. False teachers, false evangelists. God. God. <laughs> As punishment mm -hmm. to false believers mm. who don't love the truth. Mm. Mm. Shut up when the Bible is talking. Mm. <laughs> 